The first hyperchargers are here for these six brawlers. And today we're going to push all of them to a thousand trophies to see which hypercharge is the best and improves the brawler the most. First, let's start with Colt. Here and I of come. course, first order of business is getting the hypercharge. 3% <laughs> speed damage and shield. And Bull Storm is 120% wider. And we're Super Saiyan. Uh, so we have Colt at 835 trophies. I'll be honest, I pretty much suck with him. Let's see if the hypercharger changes that. So nothing really changes except for when I activate it. So I basically still have to hit my shots which we're doing okay then i have the wall break on because i break that middle open on this map and uh that's off to a really fast start didn't really have to do much aiming very much right 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 that game doesn't count we didn't even get to really attack anyone we did so much pressure on them all right one one first hypercharge with colt right there landing shots Whoa! Let's go. So the hypercharge helped us get a kills and a star player, but we still got a long way to go. Bro. Bro. That's <laughs> hypercharge plays help you so much. Did they kill the damage? Oh, then the speed to finish. It takes Colt to a whole nother level. After that, we realized early on that the hypercharge helps out Colt so much because it makes it super easier to hit and he melts with it. Like we were getting crazy plays like team wipes like this all while I was freaking lagging. Now, aside from the damage, this speed boost also helps out Colt a lot. Just watch this. Oh, After that, we got the 900 trophies quite easy, but sadly we went on a little losing streak now. So we switched it up and went into gem grab and I'm glad we did as we went on a big win streak here partly because we were able to make even more crazy plays like this that's why we switched the gem grab boy and just like that we are already two games away from 1000 trophy colt that's why we have the other gadget try and get some nice snipes in there all i'm worried about is bonnie oh she has jumped too that was a gadget i can grab this right there we go I didn't even get my hypercharge. We dominated so fast. One game away. Fang is going to be tough. Fang basically kills me, guys. Nope. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Nice, nice kills. Fang has super, so we have to play heavy defense, bro. Oh, you were just over there, guess. It's actually better that we have it in one. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> we got it at the end. Colt's hypercharge helps him out so much. Maybe we didn't see it on these last two games because we're, we're, we're gem cure. We're playing passive, but we got to Let's go. Now it's time for a big, bad, beastly pearl. Again. Uh, we had our 975 trophies from a previous 1K push, but that was before hypercharge came out and we just recently mastered her. And I'll just say this. Pearl is insane with the order hypercharge already, but you add in the speed boost from it, the damage from it, and it helps out and gets you crazy goals like this. But... I'm going to be honest, her hypercharge super effect is actually pretty useless. It like never deals any damage to anyone. So her hypercharge does make her better, but not as much compared to some other brawlers hypercharges. But at least after that, we are now only one game away from 1k trophies again. Just like that, we're one game away. Actually, we're off to a really bad start. You can believe it or not. But we can turn it around. I have my hypercharge. Oh, I thought I could walk it in. Let's go, dude. So with that, <laughs> that was really quick because we didn't have her that far away. It is now time for bowl. Unbelievable. We haven't met 800 trophies. Jaws of steel hypercharge, speed damage, shield 30%. Well, this reduces damage taken. So let's get the hypercharge, bro. Getting bowl. Unbelievable. So first time using this hypercharge in a real match. I'm actually really excited about this. Wait a minute. Did I just take damage and my hypercharge goes up? I, can, I couldn't even tell, bro. I just got bodied by that rest. But to be fair, he's had his hypercharge longer. You can tell he bought the real offer for gems. I'm going to see if, so, if I take damage, if I get my hypercharge next. Oh, I actually attacked. I'm sorry. So we just chewed through there a lot. Oh, nice goal because of our opening but we chewed through there and that 80 percent damage reduction dude we do not die i already have my next hypercharge dude you can farm it so fast because that's kind of broken tanks that get their supercharged charge their hypercharge too that's insane bro 
And I like how that bull showed me like you charge in and only activate your hypercharge while you're charging to get that reduced damage when you think you're going to take damage. Nice. Now, honestly, I was expecting the bull hypercharge to help him out a ton, but it wasn't as impactful as I was expecting, to be honest. The nice thing is you can charge it again with your super and take the reduced damage when you do super. But lots of times people will just save their ammo till you charge in and it's done. And then they just like focus kill you. Either way, nevertheless, it still does help out bull a little bit, especially with the speed boost again to help you get to enemies. And it made pushing a lot easier. But we still had our ups and downs with this push as bull has so many counters right now. But two hours later, we were finally two games away from 1k bull, but we were very close to losing this game. It was one and one in Brawl Ball. So they have Dino, which is actually going to be really tough for us for the most part. If we can actually get this goal, this is going to be massive. Nice. We need those quick wins. I don't know if I'm going to be, if we win like so fast, I don't know if I'm going to give him hypercharge, but Nani mid is nasty, dude. No, 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 no. Bro, they got it up to me. Let's go. One game away. So the last game is going to be annoying. They have throwers and Shelly, which is a hard counter to us. What? We haven't talked about Shelly yet, but we're talking to her next. About her next. But man, she's the definition of hard counter, man. So close. That's a goal. Let's go. We can survive the Shelly. Let's go, man. Mmm, that's slow. So Shelly gave up because we scored a goal, even though Shelly's a hard counter to our comp. Oh my gosh, guys. Bull's hypercharge does help him a lot. Isn't the best hypercharge in my opinion, but we'll talk about it at the end. But 1,000 bull, let's go. And a master rank up, that's cool. They may be wondering, well, what about Shelly? Well, we already had her over 1K trophies from when we mastered her and uh, did her first hypercharge push. But let me tell you, spoiler alert, her hypercharge is probably the best. As the speed helps out Shelly so much, the DPS helps her out and everything in her kit makes her just much more of a monster with her hypercharge and scarier. So yeah, she is a beast and definitely get Shelly's hypercharge if you love Shelly, but you should have got it for free already because yeah, we already had her at 1k. But now it was time for Jackie and we were pushing her a bit earlier without the hypercharge just to see how she was and she was actually beastly on this map. But after the test, we finally bought the only hypercharge offer I bought in time, RIP my gold, and then we hopped into our first game. Oh, you see that goal? Let's go. So you double the speed, bro. Oh, and he got slowed, but you, you won't even you wouldn't be able to tell. The thing with Jackie's hypercharge, it allows you to make some probably the craziest plays out of all of them with the speed combined with her super. Just check this out. Look, look at that, dude. You just run right down the middle. You can easily do your super score. The hypercharge, bro. Just speed, man. <laughs> That's the best part. After that, due to the map being OP for Jackie, the hypercharge making her so much better, we were winning almost every game. And then we even beat my boy as Livy. So that's how you know it's a good hypercharge. And only an hour later, we were two games away from 1K Jackie. And I thought we were going to win the game, but then this happened. Honestly, this game was super nope. boring, but it puts us... They, they don't have time, right? What? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're one game away. So they can get me the ball. Easy goals, just like that. And I got my super off that. Oh, man. We can be aggressive. We got Willow super. We got my super. Frank has super. Pulling him away to get that 1k. Let's go, bro. And due to the trick shot, he did him dirty. So didn't even see the hypercharge there, but honestly, Jackie's hypercharge makes her so much of a, n a better brawler. She is one of the best hypercharges to get for sure. But full list at the end, we have one more brawler to go. 1K Jackie, let's go. Five down, spike to go. Let's go ahead and get that right now, man. This one, speed boost, 30%, damage 20%, and shield 20%. Looks like a beast. All right, so the first game was spike, and I'm gonna be honest. Well, we just wrecked him there. 
there. I think Spike's actually, it's kind of funny that the Bodina Mike's name is Spike too, but I think Spike's hypercharge is going to be the one of the least impactful hypercharges for the brawlers just because he's already good without it. Look how big that radius is for a super. That's pretty crazy, dude. But we don't know until we get him to 1k, so off to a really good start. Now, I'm gonna be honest, after pushing a few brawlers to 1k already today, we were really tired. So we started playing and laying in bed a little bit. But during this grind, like I said earlier, Spike is so good already. It feels like his hypercharge doesn't make him that much better, similar to Pearl. But obviously the increased range to the super destroys the tanks even more, but it's not totally necessary. But sadly, it was also super late at night and the map switched and something was about to happen. But we want to get all six brawlers 1k at the same exact time, but we had an issue. The trophy reset was a little literally in an hour. That means all of my 1,000 trophies were not going to be 1,000 anymore. So that got our spirits lifted and we actually got a legendary star drop too, which was cool, but the rush was on. But bro, and we got a legendary drop. That's just good luck, isn't it? Hey, I didn't even know I didn't even have this gadget. What the heck? And this is on my main account. Hey, to be honest, the map changing was actually a blessing in disguise for Spike as he had so much more room to abuse his control and his range and everything. And with not much time left, that was actually super impactful and helpful as we finally got two games away from 1k we were really tired but we almost completed our challenge but yeah man i'm really happy that we switched to this map dude it's so much better for our comp and spike in general dude I think we're gonna get all oh my god we got a double there rosa's so thick she died though Piper charge coming out. Oh, dude, it's so good on this map, too. One game away. 29 minutes left. Oh, my gosh. We might do this. Bro, I'm so tired as well. Okay, they have an interesting comp. It's not very aggressive, and I think we'll be able to outrange them. I'm used to insane, it's like seeing the tanks, man. It's like the bow mines that we're going to have to look out for but they just dominate. Oh my gosh, let's go. It's kind of crazy too how insane Buster is. I don't even want to figure out what his hypercharge would be because he's so good right now. Oh my gosh. I didn't even get a hypercharge my last run. I'll be honest, Spike hypercharge doesn't make him that much better. I was so scared we weren't going to get all six 1Ks at the same time, but for the ranking of which hypercharge improves the brawl the most, it goes Pearl is the least improvement, and then Spike. You kind of heard me talk about it earlier. But then third, I'm actually going to put Bull because I thought it would have done better. Third, I'm going to be putting Colt. It does help him. For sure, it does. But I think Jackie is number two, and her hypercharge just helps her so much. But the best for sure is this Shelly, dude. Her hypercharge, pair with her how she is, it just makes her so like one of the best brawlers in the game but do you agree